Hello, this is part two of calculus of variations. Uh, now we need to talk about uh, differential, and this terminology is uh, used with function. And variation, this ter terminology is used with functional. Okay, so I need to focus on this lecture about uh, for uh, in the differential term uh, terminology. Okay, so in the last class, in the last lecture, we t we took um, at the increment and we uh, defined the increment. Okay, so uh, we we uh, denote the increment of function delta f equal to f of t plus delta t or t naught or t star. For example, I need to make it t star now minus f t star. Okay, so, so this is the increment of function of a function. Okay, uh, we see here an incremental part. So we can expand this using Taylor series expansion. So uh, df will equal to so I need to expand this part because it's incremental part so we use a uh, terrace expansion so it equal to f t t star plus uh, d uh, sorry df df by dt times delta t plus t square of f by dt square times dt squared over factorial 2 plus higher order terms okay so this is the expansion for this one minus this part this uh, term f t star okay so we can see this goes with this one so we lift we lift with df the increment will equal to df by dt times delta t plus d square of f by dt squared second derivative of f with respect to t dt squared by uh, factorial 2 plus higher order terms okay so we left with this okay okay now when we uh, neglect the higher order terms in delta t uh, in this case uh, in this case the, all these terms we neglect all these terms which is dt uh, d delta t s n uh, delta t I mean square and higher order terms and we leave only this one okay so we left uh, we we end with this equation which is delta f equal to uh, the the first derivative with respect to t uh, times delta t and we ignore the higher order terms as we said okay so when we uh, we take the first term we call this is a differential of a function when we eliminate all these the variable when we uh, when we ignore the higher order sense of delta t and we left for this we call this as df and this called the differential of a function at a point t naught okay so df is differential differential of function f at t star okay okay so this is the derivative for the function of t for the function of f with respect to t at t star okay 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 just i need to write this in another form here df equal to f dot at t star times delta t okay so this will equal to DFF partial uh, called the differential for a function. Okay, okay. If we need to uh, see it graphically now, if we have a function of t, this curve here, okay, and we need to uh, find all these concepts, uh, the increment of the function, and see the differential for it. Okay, so this is the first derivative of the function, or called the slope. Okay. First derivative or call the slope. This is point t naught. Okay, t star. And this, the function at t star. Okay. At the same time, this point is um, is at this straight line. It's at the slope. So this, we call this, is f dot. Um, let me write it here. 
So this is book T star. Okay, okay. So as we call this, as we call this line is called uh, the slope. So let me denote it like f dot of t. All right. So if we take an increment here, let's say this will be delta of t, and this will be t star plus delta of t, and we take. <coughs> for example, it coincides with this function at this point. For example, okay. So this point here will be f of t star plus delta of t. Okay. At this point here, it's go. It's in this curve. Okay. So if we define this distance, and we need to define this distance from this point. To this to this point okay from here to here as we defined earlier uh, that df the increment f is f of t star plus delta t minus f t star okay so what where's f t plus delta t this one this one here okay and f t will be this so this minus this will give me df so this distance will be delta of f okay and this one will be the differential of a function as we defined after the expanding of uh, using Taylor series expansion and uh, ignoring higher order terms so we end up with this okay and that's all for this lecture I'll uh, we'll see you next time and we'll um, uh, discuss the variation of uh, of a function okay thank you for watching